So I thought it might be interesting for people to find out how stuff happened in the background for the making of the album, because I used to look at album sleeves and think, how did these people meet? And, uh, you know, did they find each other in a phone book or something? Um, so I've, uh, I've done interviews with um, Graham Stewart, who uh, was engineer and mixer for the bulk of the album. Um, and also, uh, in this update, with George Schilling, who uh, recorded the vocals. Um, so I thought uh, we'd find out how that came about. And I started off by asking him how we met. We have a Canadian friend in common. Yes. M. Griner. M. Griner, of course. So yes. I remember going out for dinner with you and her in Oxford one evening. Yeah. Uh, was that the first time we actually met? That was indeed. Well, yeah, because I, when I, you know, when you said that, I was thinking, sort of thinking, because you, you have obviously quite a connection with the Radiohead chaps, and Fiona was their chef for yeah. it as well. So I was sort of thinking, well, was it because of Fiona cooking for the radio? But it must have been bef before that. Probably. I think our first professional collaboration was probably when I mixed one of the dive dive tracks. Then you brought Andy over here once I built this. Yeah. Um, Andy York to do his solo album, and a bird came in the front room, which Andy saved us from at one point. I remember. I, I remember, remember this. Yeah. What yeah. a hero. <laughs> I came down the fireplace. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and, and you and I sort of cowed in the corner. <laughs> and Andy, being the calm, brave one, gathered it up and put it out the window. Yeah, it's an album I'm really proud of. I, I came back and did my second solo album. Yeah, which was kind of, you know, gone in a flash because you were just so efficient. Obviously, it was because it was your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had it all planned down to the T, you know, every minute was, there was not a second wasted, was there? You came and sort of just nailed everything, and I was just sort of in a haze of trying to keep up, really, and trying to make sure not too many things distorted to you. How, then, did you come to be involved in my latest album? You were, you were working with a female singer at that point, Jenna, yeah. um, and then I think you subsequently sent me some of the sort of rough mixes and tracks to see what I thought of it. Mm. Um, and I sort of thought, well, it's it's very very professional. And she's a fantastic singer, but it it somehow missed the sort of genuine feel of expressing the emotions of the of the lyrics, uh, which I thought, you know, you're you've written them, you should be doing them. <laughs> um, and I know you weren't very confident about singing lead vocals, uh, which it's a funny thing with vocals, isn't it? Because you're you know you you do everything. You play guitar, bass, piano, drums, produce backing vocals perfectly happily and then when it comes to lead vocals you go oh my god I've got to do the lead vocals so I you know brazenly said what you need is a vocal producer and somebody to sort of just guide you a bit needing lead vocals so I'd suddenly done about three or four of them I was, I was on the was on Facebook while you were doing it was like, <laughs> <laughs> because you kind of knew what to do by that point I think um, but it's a funny thing I think it was almost like you were trying too hard and that's often the case I think you know you're sort of trying to think I've got to sing this and, and I had that with a few folks around that time I was working with a few different singers who were doing the same sort of thing. They were sort of trying really hard to do a big performance, you know, and mm. put the and acting it. It's like yeah. not doing too much, not trying too hard. Sometimes, you know, just the music is enough. But well, I think it's great. I think it's done it really well. 